In these problems, we have figures with overlapping triangles, and what we're supposed to do is separate them, pull them apart, and examine them, and try to decide if they have common sides or common angles, or if they don't. In this first figure here, you can see we have two triangles. They're actually, let me put these in different colors. So they're asking us to look at TUX. So let me just draw that in here in yellow. So there's TUX. And then we'll take a different color for the other triangle. So the triangle is ZYW. So that would be this one. When they pull these apart in this diagram over here, they're asking us to fill in uh, the labels for the vertices. And that shouldn't be too hard. So here's TUX. You see angle 11 here and angle 11 here. So you know you're in the right place. Um, the, the vertex by angle 11 is U, so that's what goes in here, is a U. The vertex by angle 8 here is T. And then the other vertex for this triangle is X, and you can see that if you get confused from the label of the triangle, the triangle T, U, X. So the ver vertices have to be U and T and X. We'll do the same for Z, Y, W. It's the W over here, and the Y is by angle 4, and the Z is down here by angle 7. OK, so we've labeled these separated triangles correctly. The next question is, do the triangles have a common side or a common angle? And what you can see from this diagram where I've outlined them in different colors is there's no whole side that completely overlaps. The top here, the yellow and the pink overlap a little bit, but not completely. So there are no common sides here. If there were common angles, what you'd see is that one of the vertices has the same label number here uh, for each of the figures. And that's not true either. You know, we've got 11 and 8 labeled here on TUX and 4 and 7 uh, labeled uh, on uh, triangle ZYW. The other angles for these would be 1 here. So this would be angle 1. And this one is angle 3. So none of those are in common. So in this particular case, these two triangles have neither a common side nor a common angle. That's not always the case. Let's look at one more of these. Here's another figure where we have overlapping triangles. And let me, um, let me uh, color code them again. So PQT, so that would be PQT. That's that triangle. And then triangle RQS. RQS like that. OK, so there are our two triangles. Let's see what we can do with the labeling of the vertices. So again, if you get confused about the orientation of these separated triangles, look for the number of the angle. And here we have 6, which is by the vertex P. So this is P, and this is T. 10 here, 10 here. And this is Q because this first triangle is PQT. And then we'll do the same thing for uh, triangle RQS. The 7 angle is the vertex uh, S. And then we have R down here and Q over here. So that's been labeled. The next question is, do they have a common side? And again, there's some overlap. Here's the uh, yellow and the pink overlapping a little bit. But it doesn't overlap for the entire side. So it looks like these two don't have a common side. Do they have a common angle? Well, it might be useful to fill in the rest of this diagram. Here's 6 and 10 and 7 and 3, nothing common there. But if we wanted to find this angle at Q, aha, that's 8. And that's 8. So there you go. They do have a common uh, angle. And that's at the, the vertex Q. And the common angle is angle 8. So that is a little bit of work with separating overlapping triangles.